Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord.
Come bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, awesome God. We honor you. We adore you. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, with a song of I just want to thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for everything. mighty name we have worshipped. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You are all welcome to the month of October. And I welcome you on behalf of our Lord Jesus Christ and on behalf of Mama and Papa in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Another Amen. night of divine encounter, a night where, where miracles will be taking place. Amen. A night of divine transformation. And the, the Bible says in Psalms 119 and verse 9, it says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to the word. Amen. Amen. Nothing Amen. can Amen. purify our heart like the word of God. Amen. Amen. Nothing can cleanse our heart like the word of God. When you partake of the word of God, when you meditate on the word of God, it cleanses you, and, and therefore the word becomes the masterpiece to freedom. That is what the word of God does. Amen. It can transform your mind. It renews your mind. Amen. It puts Amen. you in a state of freedom. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And so to bless us with the word tonight, 
is, is um, no other than Sister Sadie Corrilly. Amen. So Amen. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Listen and be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm set for accelerated result this year. Amen. I just want to thank um, our pastorate for this opportunity to share the word tonight. I just pray that the Holy Spirit will speak to me and um, the word that will go out in power and everyone will receive this word tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Um, I'm going to share the word. My topic tonight is salt and light in the world of works. And as I look, take time to look into this um, word, I go to my dictionary and I try to find out what salt means. And salt of the earth means an individual or group considered as a representative of the best or noblest. And um, we're going to take our scripture from Matthew chapter 5, 13 to 16. An LT version. And it reads, You are the salt of the earth, You are the salt of the earth, but what good is it if the salt has lost its favor? Can he make it salty again if it's thrown away and trampled there on the feet? You are the light of the world, a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. Be hidden. No one lights a lamp and puts it on the basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on the lampstand where light is given to everyone. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. Now, when you look at this scripture, um, both light and salt, um, they have priorities. Salt is, is, as we know, that salt is an enhancer. Salt is also a preservative. Salt can be also means to deliberately seek to influence the people in, in your life by showing them unconditional love of Christ through good deeds. Now, on the other hand, Salt, as we know that salt saved meat from spoiling our food. And um, as Jesus saved our souls from diminution and separation, from sinning and falling from grace. So as, as light of the world or salt, we have salt is a thing that never lost its flavor. So if we want to maintain our saltness, we have to be more effective. Now, are we going to look in John chapter, John chapter 1, verse 4? John chapter 1, verse 4. John chapter 1, verse 4 in the NLT version. And it says, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot extinguish it. So when you look at John chapter 4, light is defined as life. So um, in, as it's seen in John 4, um, it is saying that light word. gives light to men. And, yeah. you know, if the word gives light according to the, that was created in life before God. So in light, if we want the, to walk in the light, we have to, to make sure that we, we stay truly and holy in the yeah. life. Yeah, right. So in those, those light we have is eternal life. The life of, is a gift that Jesus brought from God into the dying world. As you know, light shines outward and it brings visibility. Just as... <laughs> in the gospel allows others to see truth of Jesus and salvation of faith. Now, when we look at salt and light, we know that there's maybe similarity or comparison. As light and salt, there's a comparison. We have an importance to play the role as salt and light. 
you know, as children of God, we are to be uh, preservative. We have to preserve what is good in the faith. You know, as we know that sometimes we use salt as to season meat, but there are so many seasoning that as salt can do. We are we as we as Christians are a seasoning agent for Christ. Um, we what it means it can we can bring a distinctive flavor of values to all of life. You can also make life profitable for someone, and in that we can have the more we have have to be more effective as salt and light. And to be more effective, there are so many things that we can do to be more effective, to maintain that salt in our lives. You know, being more effective, we can be more involved in our church. There are so many things in church that we can be involved in. There are so many, you know, groups. Um, we have all different kind of things in church that we can involve in. You have things outside in the church that you can be involved in. You can be involved in charity and um so many other things. And one other thing you can do is make someone happy. You can bring a smile on someone's face. Some other things we can do, we can preach. You can share the word of God to the least, to the lost soul. You can show kindness. You can show peace. You know, the Bible says, if the salt lost its taste, how can it be restored? So as children of God, there are so many ways we can you know, maintain this effectiveness, not to lost our taste. Because if lost our taste, how can it be so how can we restore that? And there, and as I go on, there are so many things. How to maintain or your salt in us. We have to be in constant relationship with God. First of all, we so we can study the word. We can be in church at all times. Some of us, we all say, oh, I go to church last week. Should I go this week? I go to Bible studies last week. Should I go this week? But one of the most important thing is to be in church. We must reframe our saltness as, distinct, as distinctiveness. It is a balancing act, but we are called upon to maintain our favor. As the Bible says, you are the light of the world. As children of God, you are not only to maintain personal holiness, but also to touch the lives of everyone around us. We can touch many people who don't encounter Christ. So as believers, as children of God, you know, to, to we are the salt of the earth. And as we are the salt of the earth, there are so many people out there that don't encounter Christ. And this is one of our, our daily duty is to touch the life of someone that we meet. As we look in Matthew chapter 620, Matthew 622 from the NKG version. Matthew chapter 6. Light of the world. We step down into the NKG version. The lamp is of the, the lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore the eye is good, your whole body will be full of light. So the Bible is the Bible is saying in Matthew chapter six twenty two that if therefore your eye is sound, your whole body will be full of light. Now light stands for spiritual illumination and truth. It encompasses all that is pure, good, and holy. Light is also a source of goodness. You know. If we don't have light, we cannot see. And as if you look in um, Genesis, when God called forth light, he said he called forth light. So light is, if our whole eyes are dark, we cannot see. So we need light to see. It, it, it's, it's a source of goodness and the ultimate reality. As you look in Proverbs chapter 20, Proverbs chapter 20 in the NLT version, Proverbs 20. Proverbs 20. In Proverbs 20, 27. The light, the Lord's light penetrates the human spirit, exposing every hidden motive. 
Now, um, Jesus declared that believers were the salt of the earth. Believers in Christ are representative of the world. You know, as we go on to say, it is light also is, is a source of, of, of our being. And we need that light. You know, if we don't have that light, we are always, we will always be in darkness. And we don't want our light to be stuffed out. You know, as believers in Christ, we are representative of the world. When you look, salt is also a flavor enhancer. In the same way, disciples of Christ must stand out as those who enhances. So if, if you look at light and, and salt, it's, it's, it's really have a, a total comparison because we need light to see and we need salt to, to flavor the things in our life. We need the salt to flavor food but we need the salt but because we are salt we are representative of God and we need that saltness in us we need the holy spirit we need that saltness to 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 push to push towards what God called us here to do so um the flavor of Christians living under the guidance of the holy spirit and in obedience to Christ will eventually influence the world for good just as salt has a positive influence on the flavor of the food it seasons where there is strife, we have to be peacemakers. As we look in Matthew chapter 5, verse 9, in the LLT, in the NLT version, so Matthew chapter 5, verse 9, it says, God blesses those who work, who work for peace, for they will be called children of God. So, uh, in Matthew chapter 5, verse 9, God says, we are, you know, we are the peacemakers, you know. And if we go to chapter 11, it says, God blesses, when you, God blesses you when people mock you and persecute you and lie about you and say all sorts of evil things against you because you are all my followers. So it's saying where there is sorrow, we have to be, be minister of the Christ, binding up wounds. And where there is hatred, you are to Emptify the love of God in Christ. And when what when you signify that, it means doing, doing all, all things that is good. We're gonna look at Luke chapter 6, verse um, Luke chapter 6, 35. Luke chapter 6, 35. And it says, Love your enemies, do good to them, lend them without expecting to be repaid. Then your reward from heaven will be very great, and you will truly be acting as children of the Most High, for he is kind to those who are unthankful and wicked. So, you know, as Luke is saying, love your enemies, do good to them, and lend without expecting not to be repaid. You know, just as light of the world, just as we as light of the world, it is good, it's a good work for Christ followers of Christ to shine for all to see. So as light of the world, we are to shine our light. Our light should be shining. We shouldn't be in any darkness at all. You know, and one of the things to, to be shining, we have to be different. Shining means different, from, different from, from others. You know, if you're a believer, you should be supposed to be different. You're supposed to speak different. You're supposed to, your attitude towards things is supposed to be different. So in order to do that, you need the light of God. Matthew chapter 4, verse 14, we have taken from the NABS version. Matthew chapter 4. Um, Matthew chapter 4, 14, it says, um, this, is, was a, this was to fulfill what was spoken to Isaiah the prophet. And um, what well, let me read it for me. You are the light of the world, a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. The idea here is similar to the presence of light in darkness. The presence, the presence of Christian in the world must be a light in the must be a light 
in the darkness. The truth is that God's word is also brings light to the darkened hearts of sinful men. So as 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 you know, to be to for the presence of God, for the presence of light to be in us, we have to we have to make sure that the truth of God also remain in us. As you read in John 1, this is a long scripture, John 1 verses 1 to 10 in the NLT version, John 1 from 1 to 10. Um, it says, in the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was God. He was the beginning with God. All things came into being through him and apart from him, nothing came into being that came, that come to being. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. There came a man sent from God whose name was John. He was, came as a witness to testify about the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but he came to testify about the light. There was a true light which come into the world, enlightens every man. He was in the world, and the world was made through him. And the world did not know him. So when I read in John 1.10, it also says that our God deeds must be evident. Our good deeds must be evident for all to see. And indeed, our deeds will be evident if they are performed in accordance with other principles that Jesus mentioned in the passage. Matthew 5, 13 to Matthew 5, 3 to 11. As Jesus mentioned these, these good, good deeds. Um, it says, um, blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, that they shall be comforted. Blessed are the gentle, that gentle are they that gentle, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who who came from those who have been persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you and persecute you and force to say all kinds of evil against you, against you because of me. No. There are many things that can prevent Christians from falling in their whole role as salt and light in the world. First and foremost, there must be a difference between Christians and the world. There must be a distinction, be distinction between you and the, and the rest of the world. A step in the right, you have to be a step in the right direction. This can only happen if we make a choice to accept the way of, of the, this can only happen if you make a choice to accept the way of the world for the sake of comfort or convenience. Mark 9, was Mark 9 verses 50 in the, in LT version. Mark 9. Mark 9 verse 50. It says, salt is good, but if the salt becomes unsalty, what good will it make it salty again? What salt? Have salt in yourselves and be at peace with each other. Now salt is... <sighs> How do you have to make it salty? You must have the qualities of salt among you, yourselves, and live in peace with each other. The passage suggests that saltness is saltness can be lost specifically through lack of peace with each other. This follows from the command to have salt in yourselves and be at peace with each other. As you look at Luke 14, Luke 14:34 in the NLT version. Book 
1334. Can somebody project Luke 13 for me? Or let me read it from here. Salt is good for season, but if it loses its flavor, how do you make it salty again? Heavenly salt is not good, neither for the salt nor for the manure pile. It is possible for believers to lose their favor. If believers lost their favor, they would be of no benefit to others. As we look in Matthew chapter 13, Matthew chapter 5, 13b, he said, it is therefore good for nothing, but it's cast out and be trampled on the feet. When we recognize that salt was used to keep meat and food for a long period, Christians who obey God and do his will serve as a preservation of the human race. Christians, as salt of the earth, Jesus spoke about the need to live a pure life as possible so that they can, that you can maximize your ability to flavor, or, to flavor or bless others through their good works. So as salt and light, you know, we have a priority on earth is to bless others and to do the good works that Christ has called us to do. In Mark chapter 7, verses 7 to 9. Chapter seven, seven. For, for their worship, their worship is a fierce as they teach men man-made ideas to command from God. For you ignore God's law and substitute your own tradition. Then he said, "You sk sk skillfully sidesteps God's law in order to uphold on your own tradition." So when you look at Matthew chapter 9, it's saying, as believers, we must stay true. Never mix ourselves into things like false doctrines. They still cause us to lose our purity and originality intended goal. However, it will eventually lead us to become worthless and hollow. So none of us want to be hollow. None of us want to be worthless. So to maintain that salt and light in us, we have to have that effectiveness in us. We have to preserve what we ha is in us. We have to walk with the salt of the earth. We have to be, be different from others in the world. We have to show our purity. We don't, we no, none of us want to lose our flavor. We want to be on fire for God. And that's what God called us to do. You know. So, and finally, as salt and light, we must remain, became the seasoned agent and let your light shine for others to see. Thank you. That's my final word in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Sharing that word. Indeed, we are to be the salt of the earth. And indeed, the light of God must shine forth in our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you so much. In Amen. Jesus name. At this point in time, we are going to enter into our prayer session. Amen. And to take prayer number one would be Minister Wumi Akintobi. Prayer number two, Sister Funke Adeodigbe. Prayer number three, Sister Nkechi Ayola. Prayer number four, Sister Margaret. Prayer number five, Sister Opemi Fasero. And prayer number six, Deaconess Lola. And just a few house rules to follow. And we all have four minutes each for each prayer point. And when you see the floating heart, it's time to enter to pray in the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we begin in Jesus' name? Amen. 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 I am set for accelerated result. So, um, Thank you. Jesus. 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 Amen. Amen. Prayer number one is anchored on First Corinthians. 15 verse 57 but thanks be to god which given us the victory through our lord jesus christ amen, amen. prayer number one father in the name of jesus thank you for the multitude of worshipers and the diverse encounters and testimonies at the end of the month since given baby dedication uh, Sunday worship service, especially for giving us total victory 
Vow the word. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, in the name of 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 the Praise the Lord. Before we go on to the next person, can we please unmute our phones? We are here to pray. Let's unmute our phones, raise our voice together. That's what makes the prayer meaningful. God bless you all. Amen. 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 I am set for accelerated results this year. It is answered on Exodus 14 and 13, and it says, And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, he shall see, see them again them no more forever. He says, Father, by the blood of Jesus, dethrone every principality that may be this disguising as a man or woman to resist your will for joy over international church and all joyful celebrants 
Amen. I'm taking prayer number three also, which is anchored on Joshua 11, reading verse 20 to 23. And it says, For it was of the Lord to harden their hearts that they should come against the Israel in battle, that he might destroy them utterly, and that they might have no favor, that he might destroy them as the Lord commanded Moses. Amen. 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 So Joshua took the whole land according to all that the Lord said unto Moses. And Joshua gave it for an inheritance unto Israel, according to their divisions by their tribes. And the land rested from war. Amen. 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 And the prayer goes, it says, Father, in the name of Jesus, destroy every stubborn agent of the devil that is fighting the fulfillment of prophecies in the lives of all the world for celebrants, thereby giving us peace and fulfilling every prophecy that has gone ahead of us in the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. Can you say possibility without this name? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Paul is taken from first Kings 21, verse 17 to 19. And it reads, And the word of the Lord came to Elijah, the Teshbite, saying, Arise, go down to meet Ahab, king of Israel, which is in Samaria. Behold, he is in the vineyard of Nabal, whither he is in the, oh, sorry, whither he is gone down to possess it. And thou shalt speak unto him, saying, Amen. Amen. says the Lord. Please, can we please mute whoever is talking there? Can you please mute your phone? If you know that that noise is coming from your house, please. We are praying now, please. And thou shalt speak unto him, saying, Thus says the Lord, in the place where dogs licked, the blood of Naboth shall thus lick thy blood, even pain. <laughs> Amen. Um, we are four weeks. Father, in the name of Jesus, send your word of vengeance through your altar at GOIC, thereby destroying every evil altar that may be speaking against any joyful celebrant or any of our new members. In Jesus' name, let us pray. Oh, <laughs> 
Amen. I am here for accelerated results this year. Prayer 5 is anchored on Esther chapter 6, verse 10 to 11. Then the king said to Haman, Make haste and take the apparel and the horse, as thou hast said, and do even so to Mordecai, the Jew, that seated at the king's gate. Let nothing fail of all that thou hast spoken. Amen. 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 Then took Haman the apparel and the horse and arrayed Mordecai and brought him on horseback through the street of the city and proclaimed before him, thus shall it be done unto the man whom the king delighted to honor. Amen. 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 Now let us be praying that, Father, in the name of Jesus, remember Amen. all joyful celebrants, avenge us, and let every word of prophecy spoken concerning us be fulfilled this year after the order of Mordecai's remembrance in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, remember all the members of the international Father, I 
I am set for accelerated result this year. So, um, um, I thank you, Jesus. Amen. Prayer 6 is anchored on Isaiah 40, 31. Amen. He said, but they, but they that wait upon the Lord Amen. shall renew their strength. Amen. They shall mount up with wings of eagle as eagles. Amen. They shall Amen. run and Amen. not be weary. Amen. Amen. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. 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 And the prayer reads, Father, in the name of Jesus, as mm. we are back on our marathon fast next week, Holy you Spirit, say. strengthen our inner man yes, and Lord, subdue our outer man. Amen. 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 Our strength to be renewed. Amen. Amen. Our petition to be granted. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we ask for strength. We want strength. We ask for strength. We ask for strength. We strength. We strength. The <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 
Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yeah, we thank God for all the prayers that have been offered before his presence, and we know we will answer them in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, and I read from the book of Isaiah 51, verse 11. It says, Therefore, the redeemed of the Lord in common singing, singing unto Zion, an everlasting joy shall be upon their head. They shall obtain gladness and joy, and so and money shall be in you. And uh, we bless God for the new month. We believe God has been feeding you. We celebrate. Uh, do we have anybody that wants to testify to the, uh, the faithfulness of God? It's time for testimony. Uh, if you can just tell us your name and tell us what the Lord has done. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, so um, I, I too. Too. Thank, you. thank you, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus for covering our yeah. things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Sister Margaret, I'm here to return the glory to God. I want to thank God for his favor and mercy. Open doors. Where I least expected, the Lord has shown me favor. Amen. In the last quarter, he has been faithful to me. He has <coughs> blessed me and... Um, where I least expected, the Lord made a way. And um, I am here to give him all the praise, all the adoration. I'm also grateful for his protection over my life and that of my family. I say thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank God for the name. Uh, we, we, we know that it will continue and the favor of God will continue by your life in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We have another person yeah. that wants to testify. I am set for a celebrated result this year. So, uh, so I'm happy to thank you, thank you, thank you Jesus, Jesus, for our in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. My name is Mome Akintobi. Yeah. Uh, I just want to thank God in line with just the sister that just Margaret. I just just woke up this morning and um, very un I would say it's unusual, but with so much excitement inside of me, I've been so joyful, celebrating, you know, just praising God and dancing most part of today. I was just filled with so much joy and just thanking God, just looking back from January and just saying, Father, I just thank you. Amen. No, just I just bless your name. He can only be God for his safety, you know, goodness, you know, just driving on dear food. My going to my work takes me almost like 45 minutes every day. And God, and I'm just like, Father, I just thank you. I look around me and I'm like, Father, Lord, thank you for giving me sound mind in all that I have gone through this year in every area. Father, Lord, you have kept me to be, you know, to, to you've given me sound mind, to be sane. You've given me sanity in every area. And I was just like grateful. I just want to thank him Amen. for everything. And, uh, you know, just thanking God for all the, the people that God has raised up for me in different areas to pray with me, pray for me. And so I just thank God for everything, for bringing me and my family into the last quarter of the year. Like mm -hmm. I told myself, it's not just a new month. You know, the, what the Holy Spirit minister, he said, is a new season. And I just mm -hmm. thank God that it's a new season. It's not just a new month. And I just want to give God for, uh, give him thanks. I'm just mm -hmm. filled with joy, thanking him. Thanking him for every good, perfect gift that he has bestowed upon my life. 
We thank God because we know how to give thanks, and that's why we are mm. all the praise to Him. Hallelujah. You, and we pray that God will continue to sustain and be with you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You, have ex- you are experiencing will not uh, go down in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Do, I am do. set for accelerating results this year. Thank you, Jesus, for our covenant lifting in Jesus' name. My name is Sister Delcina, and I just want to thank God because if I look back from January to now, I have been experiencing some uh, kind of unusual, uncommon financial favor in my life. Um, I don't know where to begin, but this year so far has been absolutely amazing in every way. God has been so faithful. Like where mm. I least expected, God, ha- God has shown up mightily and mm. mightily and mightily. Mm. There are some doors that He has opened for me. It can only be God. Oh. It is by the grace of God that I have not been conceived. This year has been awesome. It has not mm. yet ended, but I can testify to the goodness of mm. God oh, that this year Lord, for me yeah. personally yeah. has been one of the Best, one of the greatest ever. I have not seen any gap. I have not seen any shame. I have not seen any shame. God has twin. I just want to return all the glory to Him. Amen. Him alone be all the glory. Father, I thank you. I bless your name. And I give you all the praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 We pray that what God is doing in your life will continue in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Uh, do you have anybody testifying? I'm set up for the little result this year. So I'm going to ask Jesus. 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 I want to return all glory to God that out of mm. out of his abundance of mercy, he has been he has given me good health now. And he has given me peace in a miraculous way. Mm. He has been meeting me at the point of my knees, and I have not lacked any loss. Mm. Everything that the Lord has done in my life. And mm. so grateful to God. If not God, mm. I shouldn't have been alive by now. Mm. But I am alive mm. because of the good of God. Mm. And I thank God for, for my for my church. Hey. Hey. Amen. My church. <laughs> right. Oh, God will continue to grant to grant us the grace to be able to bless us. The, the, the days are evil and you the whole world is winding up, but I thank and for 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 giving for me uh, making us prayer warriors. God mm-hmm. will continue to revive His church in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Of love, of care, of support of our pastors, of our leaders, mm-hmm. will never be in fear. Make careful because you are really struggling, mm-hmm. Pastor. God will help you. God will continue to strengthen you. He continue to give you divine strength every time mm-hmm. I try. Amen. 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 Pastor, divine strength from above. Mm-hmm. Throughout today, yesterday night, I was looking at my pastor in the internet. In his name, it's not. It's never seen. Ah, God will be strengthening you in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God. He will forgive him. Will give him you the strength, divine strength. That strength our pastor is using is from is from above. Yes. It's not by any it's not by, mm-hmm. by, by any uh, because I uh, I know how to do something. No, it is God that has given him that strength, and God will continue to back you up in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' Amen. name, Amen. I worship God. Amen. 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 Thank we thank God for your life, man. And uh, we know that, that God will continue to keep you in good health. In Amen. Uh, Amen. Everything in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Um, mm. you have another person that wants to testify. 
that's what I'm going to do. So, 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 afflict himself but the Lord came through for me and I'm okay. on my feet I'm at work I'm healthy I don't have any issues I just want to bless God if uh, I don't want to go into the details but I just want to appreciate God for the healing power in the name of Jesus Amen. And I want to also thank God for our parents and the Lord who are always on standby for their children I want to appreciate God and also like my sister uh, also testified for the goodness, the many goodness or goodness of God throughout the beginning of this year. God has been faithful. And I know that by the end of the year, you have um, countless testimonies to share with Amen. people. Amen. 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 More good things the Lord will do in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Uh, do we have any other person testifying the faithfulness of God? I'm set for accelerated result this year. So, so um, um, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you, Jesus, for our covenant and everything in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I just want to praise the goodness of God for bringing me and my family to a brand new month. And Amen. I know and I decree that this month will be our best month ever. But for us, there's no way no one can take it from us. I just want to bless Joy Overflow International Church and the pastors. I know that God is taking us to a next level. And I just want God to bless them and bless them continually in Jesus' name. Amen. I am set for accelerated results this year. So, so am I. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for our covenant, covenant and in Jesus', and Jesus name. name. Amen. Amen. I want to thank God for his faithfulness. I want to thank him for his mercies. I want Amen. to thank him for adding another year to my first child's life. She turned Amen. seven on the 25th of September, and I'm grateful to God for how far he has taken our family. Amen. I also want to thank God today for open doors, and I want to testify on our next testimony service. But I just want to take... take Tell God thank you. I want to thank, tell him thank you because he's the door, he's the one that opens doors. Amen. And there's um there's, there's a scripture that uh, Mama has put for us um weekly for women for us to say what what scripture are we standing on for this week? Mm -hmm. And I just realized that for last week and this week. I just realized that it was based on absolute trust. And mm. for this week, I was saying, God, I am trusting you absolutely. Mm. I am taking you at your word. Mm. Nothing extra, Amen. just mm. your word. Mm. And I'm just so grateful to God. And I'm thankful to God because what I have been praying to God for, from the beginning of this year, for him to show himself strong, God did it for me. God Amen. did it for me, and I am Amen. so grateful. Amen. I am so grateful. God, I'm saying thank you. I worship you, and I am doing it. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank God for the faithfulness of God. And we know in our year of accelerated results, more and more results will come in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Um, any other testifier? Um. Uh, I, I would like us to, but I, I, I'm just looking at the summary of all the testimonies that have been given tonight. Uh, I think about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of us that have given testimony tonight and actually acknowledging the faithfulness of God, either concerning mm -hmm. our finances, concerning our health, concerning God helping us through the year, concerning seeing the new month, for showing, showing us, even showing up when you least expected, and many more things. So this shows the, the God we serve that is in our midst. Is a that is 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 proving itself strong. It's proving itself 
in various ways, in diverse ways in our midst. I would like us to lift up our voices. Let us begin to appreciate this Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless Jesus name we have prayed. Thank you, Hallelujah belong to you Yes Lord my hallelujah belong to you my my hallelujah my Oh, <laughs> 
Lord, I give you all. the opportunity. God, the glory of Amen. Let's welcome our mother and the Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm set for accelerated result this year. So, thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Anybody yes. that is sleeping, please wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. It's time to take the hold of our destiny through prayer. Wake up. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Let's open our Bibles to Esther chapter 6. Esther, Esther chapter 6 from verse 1. On that night, the king could not sleep. And he commanded to bring the book of records of the Chronicles. And they were read before the king. And it was found written that Mordecai had told of Big Tana and Teresh, two of the king's chamberlains, the keepers of the door, who sought to lay hand on the king, Ahasuerus. And the king said, what honor and dignity had been done to Mordecai for this? Then said the king's servants that ministered unto him, there is nothing done for him. Tonight, the king of kings, the Lord of lords, will be remembering the good acts, your good deeds, your service in his house. shall be remembering somebody tonight. I mean, this morning is a day for you. The book, book of remembrance shall be opened this morning in the name of Jesus. For God will not go unrewarded in the name of Jesus Christ. And the king said, who is in the court? Now, Amen. Remember, Amen was plotting to kill Mordecai. Yeah. Now, Amen was coming to the outward court of the king's house to speak unto the king to hang. He was coming to talk to the king to hang Mordecai on the gallows that he had prepared for him. <laughs> and the king's servant said unto him, Behold, Amen standeth in the court. And the king said, Let him come in. So Amen came in. And the king said unto him, What shall be done unto the man 
whom the king delighted to honor. <laughs> the enemy said they have they, they, they've uh, uh, erected a gallows to hang themselves on. But the king of heaven is about to honor somebody this morning. Amen. In the Amen. Amen. So a man came in and the king said unto him, what shall be done unto the man whom the king delighted to honor? Now a man thought in his heart, to whom would the king delight to honor more than myself? <laughs> and a man answered the king, for the man whom the king delighted to honor, let the royal apparel be brought, which the king used to wear. That's the royal apparel that the king wears, and the horse that the king rides upon, and the crown royal which is set upon his head. And let this apparel and, and us be delivered to the hand of one of the king's most noble princes, that they may array the man whom the king delight to honor and bring him on us back through the streets of the city and proclaim yeah. before him. Thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delighted to honor. Then mm -hmm. the king said to him, man, make haste and take the apparel and the horse as thou hast said, and do even so to Mordecai, the Jew, Hallelujah. that seated at the king's gates. Mm -hmm. Let nothing fail of all that you have spoken. Oh, then right. took Amon, the apparel and the horse, and arrayed Mordecai, and brought him on the horseback <laughs> to, oh, to the streets Lord. of the city, and oh, proclaimed before him, this is what shall be done unto the man whom the king Hallelujah. delighted to honor. <laughs> and Mordecai came again to the king's gate, but Amon hasted to his house, mourning and having his head covered. And Amon told Zeresh, his wife, and all his friends everything that he had, that had befallen him. Then said he, There's his wise men and Zeresh, his wife, unto him. If Mordecai be of the seed of the Jews, listen to this, before whom thou hast begun to fall. Thou shalt not prevail against him, but shall surely fall before him. And this, we are going to pray some three powerful prayer points from this, from what we have read. A man had already planted a, a gallow that he was going to hang, um, that he was going to hang Mordecai on. And God decided to humiliate him. Mm -hmm. And God decided to humiliate him mm. by honoring mm. his own, his own, his own son Mordecai, <laughs> and he, he began to disgrace the enemies plotting against him. So we have three prayer points. I'll quickly read them, but I will be taking them one by one. Once you hear Amen, please uh, leave the first prayer point. Let's go to the next one quickly. First one say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Withdraw sleep from everyone that is destined to help me. Let my destiny help us begin to remember me and locate me in Jesus' name. Father, open my book of I want to read you. Amen. 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 I'll read all the prayer points. And I'll be taking them one by we'll be taking them one by one. Let me read everything. Then we'll take them one by one. I will lead us in the one by one prayer within one minute or one and a half minutes. Pray it with all fathers. And God Almighty, you will see the result even from this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody is not going, somebody is not going to sleep because of your case tonight. I mean, this Amen. morning, that was Jesus. God will keep some people awake for your sake in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says that Nehemiah, uh, God sent the, the, the prophet Isaiah to, to Ezekiah to go and tell him that tonight, today, you are going to die. Prepare your heart. If the Bible says Ezekiah turned to the world and he said, God, my death is not. Is not is not palatable at this time. My death mm. is not palatable. That the God of heaven said you are going to die. A man turned to the wall and said, "No way, I am not going to die." And before the servant left his, his garden, 
before he left the garden, the house of that man, God, God told him, go back, go and tell Ezekiah that I've added 15 more years to him. I said, if God is going to be adding to all that he has prophesied ahead of you, he's going to be adding to them this morning in the name of Jesus. The prophecy of our prayers this morning, heaven shall be opened and your book of remembrance shall be opened in the name of Jesus. So we are going to pray that first prayer. Father, my book of remembrance today and entrop it. Number two, Father, in the name of Jesus, just like a man began to fall before Medekai, so let everyone seeking my downfall begin to fall before me. Let them be disgraced and humiliated, and let their cancers be turned into foolishness. From today onward, in Jesus' name, put your children to anyone that is seeking the downfall of the family, of your church, of your children. Let them begin to fall for your sake, Jesus' name. Number three, Father, in the name of Jesus, let your honor. Your dignity, your favor that we announce me to my world and turn me into a celebrity, begin to speak in my life from today in the name of Jesus. So we are going to pray number one now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we trust you from everyone destined to help me. Let the destiny in Christ begin to remember me and look at me in the name of Jesus. Father, open my book of remembrance today and enthrone me in the name of Jesus. Let's lift up our voices and begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we trust from everyone Prayer number two, Father, in the name of Jesus, just like Amen began to fall before Mordecai, so let everyone seeking my downfall and the downfall of my children begin to fall before us in the name of Jesus. Let them be disgraced and humiliated, and let their cancer be turned into foolishness from today onwards in the name of Jesus. Turn that into in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That they might begin to fall into the So let you be Thank 
let your honor your dignity your favor that we announce me to my world and turn me into a celebrity begin to speak in my life from today in the name of jesus let your honor your dignity your dignity your favor that we announce me to my world and turn me into a celebrity begin to speak in my life from today in the name of Jesus. Let's be blessed on that with the prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless your honor, your favor, your dignity. In the name of Jesus, that we are now into my world and looking for a celebrity. Let him begin to speak in my life from today in the name of Jesus. Let him speak in the name of Jesus. Your honor, your dignity, your favor, that we are now in the world. Father, <laughs> in Jesus precious name we have prayed amen i am set for accelerated results this year Amen. What a wonderful Amen. night it's been. Pray. Amen. Ought always to pray and not to faint. Mm-hmm. Let me let you know that every prayer you have prayed tonight has ascended to the throne of grace. Amen. Very soon, the results are coming down in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Our God is going to be healing. God is going to be delivering. Yokes are going to be broken. Bodies are going to be destroyed. Amen. 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 into the month of October 2021, the last quarter of the year, it shall be your best ever in the name of Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus, as the Amen. Lord, Amen. Amen. you shall be grace for you completely. Amen. Every result to you shall be accelerated Amen. in the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. And the glory of God will sit upon your life Amen. in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to thank God for that word from Sister Say. 
on the salt and earth of the earth. Can I let you know that God has made you an eye salt of the earth, light Amen. of the world. So wherever Amen. you are, there should be no Jesus. darkness. Amen. Wherever you Amen. are, there should not be anything that is not sweet. Amen. There should Amen. be no bitterness around. Because Amen. salt sweetens everything that it comes in contact with. Amen. Salt sweetens everything. Light lightens up every darkness. Amen. It does not allow darkness around. So Amen. no darkness around you. No bitterness around you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And you will not lose your value as a salt and light. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me let you know the aim of the devil is to make you worthless as a salt. Amen. That's why he says if it is worthless, it has no other use. Men will put it on the ground and begin to tread upon it. The thing that men tread upon, how does it look like? It's trampled, it's useless, everybody is despising it. Every if people are spitting on it, people are just messing it up. You shall not be messed up. Every man to mess up your destiny in the name of Jesus. Amen. Powerless by the violence of faith, you will push back. You will Amen. resist it. Amen. Amen. God Amen. will honor you this month. Amen. 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 Um, like Mama was talking about Esther and Mordecai and, and, and Haman. Now there's something in the book of Esther. Deacon, if you want to show Esther chapter 2, verse 16, I sent it to you. Amen. Esther chapter 2 and verse 16. And see what the scripture says about <laughs> Esther in such a month and a month like this. So this month is set up. If you have seen what the month holds for us, it says we are surrounded by fire. fire. Let's say together, I am surrounded, surrounded by, by, by fire. We are surrounded by fire. So Thank all you. through this month, the fire of the Lord will surround you. Amen. Amen. An insane person that goes near oh. fire. Oh. Somebody <laughs> whose senses are not correct. Even mm. when they are not correct, when he gets near the fire, he runs back and say, "No, no, mm. this is not. I'm not ready to die." It's only mm. any devil that is ready to die that will dare you this month in the name of Amen. Amen. The fire of God will be sitting upon your Amen. head. Amen. Amen. Your eyes Amen. will be sitting Amen. everywhere around you. Amen. The devil will come near you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Esther chapter two verse sixteen. He said, so Esther, so put your name there. So Sonny was taken out of the Cruz into his royal house in the 10th month. Amen. You are in the 10th month. You are stepping into royalty. Amen. Amen. The month, you are stepping into royalty. The month, you are stepping into royalty. Stepping into royalty. And royalty is on every side. In the name of Jesus. Anything that is short of royalty will completely get away. Royalty yeah. shall be the portion in this month. In the name of Jesus. Get your name. Very now. So this month you are stepping into royalty. The hand of the Lord will be you, and the glory Amen. of the Lord will cover you in the name. Amen. 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 We're going to be praying. We are still going to be praying, and we're going to be. I'm going to be ministering to us. Everyone under the sound of my voice that is oppressed by the devil, it is time for that oppression to stop. Amen. It is time for every oppression Amen. to stop. Amen. It is time for every sickness to be healed. Amen. It is time for every devil to let go of you. Amen. Because Amen. you are surrounded by fire, the fire of God will burn every that will start to hold on to you right now. In the Let's lift up our hands before the Lord right now, Mama. Our fault is nothing. The Bible speaks of Madaya 170. Upon this mountain, there shall be deliverance. There shall be holiness. And you possess your possession. You possess your possession. I possess a possession. This mountain will be fire. This mountain will be fire. We 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 will be I 
Amen. Control when we want to stop. Amen. So if it's if I say in Jesus' name, let's put up the amen sign so that people will see it quickly. Amen. So, brethren, I'm gonna be ministering right now. I'm going to be ministering to a number of us by the power of the Holy Spirit. The anointing of the Lord is here. The yokes are going to be broken. Amen. The are going to be destroyed. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, if there is any form of oppression going on around you, the time for it to end. Expire is now. It is expired now. It shall go no further. It shall go no further. It shall go no further. Isaiah chapter 49, verses 24 to 26. Isaiah 49, 24 to 26. Yes, what the scripture says. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Mighty. Now that... Love for delivered. 49. It says, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty and the lawful or the lawful captive delivered? Mm. He's asking a question. Verse 25. But thus said the Lord. The Lord asked the question and is answering it. He said, mm. But thus said the Lord, even the even captives the of the mighty the shall be taken, shall away, be taken away, and away. the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. I will contend, I will contend him that contend with thee, and I will save thy children. Do what he says he's going to do to them. Verse 26. He said, I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their blood as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that the Lord and thy Savior. The Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. I'm going to be Amen. this right now. Amen. Any one of us, under the sound of my voice, Amen. going through any form of oppression, it is, so. it is not supposed to be so. It's not supposed to be so. That is Amen. absolutely anti-scripture. The Amen. devil is trespassing. And we're going to check him tonight in the name of Jesus. So if, if, that, if that is applicable to you, just show by the raise of your hand on your screen. Just, show by the raise of your hand. just raise your hand in the screen, on the screen, on the computer. Raise your hand on what's not, not, not lifting physical hand. I'm talking about the, the hand on your phone or on the system you are using. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I can see that hand. Okay, so is that the only person? I'm going to be praying right now, Madi Qatar. Just show by the raise of your hand on the screen, and I'm going to be praying for you. If you are going through any form of oppression, any oppression of the devil, that's what we just read now. The Bible says the priest shall be taken from the, the captive, mm -hmm. and the lawful captive shall be delivered. And God says, I would contend with him that contend with you. And I will save your children, and I will feed them with their own flesh. They will eat their own flesh, they will drink their own blood in the name of Jesus. Now, Heavenly Father, I stretch forth my hands to this people of God who have raised up their hands. I command by the authority in the name of Jesus, every foul spirit responsible for this oppression. <laughs> Because said the Lord, the Lord enters into a contention with you. Amen. What are you doing in these bodies? Amen. What are you doing with this oppression? Amen. Now, by the authority, in the name of Jesus, I arrest you, spirit. I command you to get out in the name of Jesus Christ. So over this one. Out. Yes. Out. Loose them. Loose them. Loose them. Loose them. Loose them. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus Christ is against you. The blood of the rest of us, let's pray in the Holy Ghost. The blood of Jesus Christ is against you. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus is against you. What are you doing in the lives of this one? Loose them. Out. Forever. You foul spirit. Loose them. 
grief are taken out. The blood of Jesus against you. Blood of Jesus against you. Blood of Jesus against you. Most shakatiate. you are delivered you are set Amen. financial oppression now Amen. has come to an end every Amen. spiritual oppression has come to an end enter Amen. into liberty in the name Amen. of Jesus Christ Amen. Amen. we give you praise in Amen. Jesus precious name Amen. we pray Amen. Amen. I'm going to be ministering to any one of us that is sick in the body please you can put down your hands if you are sick in the body if there is pain in any part of your body, just show by the raise of your hand. Show by the raise of your hand. I'm going to be praying for you right now, ministering to you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I stretch up my hands in the spirit right now and I touch this ones by the authority in the name of Jesus. Every pain in the body. Every pain in the body, every pain going on in your body, every sickness going on in your body, it is written that it might be fulfilled as spoken by the prophet Isaiah, Matthew 8, 17, that he himself took our infirmities. He himself took our infirmities. He himself took our infirmities. Jesus took your infirmity. You are not supposed to have any infirmity. Jesus was beaten with many stripes so that you can be healed. Jesus, Isaiah 53 says, by his stripes you are healed. By his stripes you are healed. Now I declare by the authority in the name of Jesus, any pain going on in your body. What are you doing in this body? Now, in that spirit, Responsible for this pain in the body, I command you, make a telebra. Now I can see you. Listen, listen, listen. listen. One of these people whose hand is raised, I see a spirit like a fox. I see a spirit like a fox responsible for that pain. Mm. And a fox is a deadly animal. Mm. It's an mm. animal that is very stubborn. Mm. But by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, mm. that fox is killed right now. Mm. Yes. Mm. Killed right now. Mm. Mm. It's killed right now. Mm. 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 Oh, Jesus. I Amen. call this fox dead right now. Amen. I call this fox dead. Amen. Amen. I call this fox dead. Amen. I call this fox dead. Amen. Fire from heaven. Boss of this box right now. Every oppressive spirit behind this sickness. Hear the word of the Lord. What are you doing here? Lose your feet. Lose your feet in the name of Jesus. Lose your feet in the name of Jesus. Stop it. 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 Lord, <laughs> 
you will have a different kind of dreams. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And the Lord has healed you and has made this healing permanent in the name of Jesus. Every father thank you for filling this scripture. Thank you, Jesus. Praise and glory in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Now, I'm being drawn by the Holy Spirit. I need to pray for some set of people. You experience some form of oppression in your finances. Before the income comes, the bills are lining up. And sometimes you can't even explain what has happened. If that's you, if that any form of oppression like that is going on, just show me by the raise of your hands. And I'm going to be praying for you right now. La prekete kata kutele kata zazika tele kulo kata kata taka azazika rakata ba ante kate e prekete ya te kata suhati rakita bahati ka nano shakati ya te ka zara bade kata leba every form of financial oppression that is going on around this one's whose hands are raised up right now by the authority in the name of Jesus. Mm. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Now I can hear. I can hear in my spirit, just like it was said in the book of Zechariah, that these are the horns of the Gentiles, which did not allow anyone to have financial progress. He said, mm. But the heavenly carpenters have come to fray the horns of the Gentiles in Amen. the name of Jesus. So in the ministry Amen. of the heavenly carpenter, every Amen. horn of the Gentile that is attacking your finances and is not allowing you to make progress financial and is resisting of your finances, I stand yes. upon the authority of the word of God. Jesus and Amen. the Lord helps you 
to stand for the glory of his name in the name. Amen. 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 One thing to be sure, please listen carefully. Amen. One thing to be sure, if you are not a tither, that prayer will not be answered. Amen. So just go back to the basics. Go back to the basics. Make sure you tithe correctly and tell the Lord. Open your scripture. Malachi chapter 3. He said, I, I, God, will rebuke the devourer. I, God, will rebuke. If you are a tighter, just be rest assured that prayer is answered. And from now on, you begin to see the manifestation of the power of God over your finances in the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed and highly favored in Jesus' precious name. We pray. Amen. Amen. Let's put, right. those down. Let's put those hands down. There's one more prayer to mm. pray as we round up tonight. Put those hands down. <coughs> Let's put those hands down, please. Okay. Now, if there's any other case that has not been mentioned and you are sensing any form of oppression, one of them may be ancestral spirits, please put down these hands. You have you have you are experiencing what your grandfather or father or uncle or people in your lineage are experiencing. It could be one of those, but there are many, there may be many more. Now, if you are experiencing that, I need to terminate that spirit, that ancestral spirit, and that uh, that lineage issue, that generational issue. Needs to be terminated tonight by the Jesus, Lord of the Lamb. So, if that's you, if you have that issue, please show by the raise of your hand, and I'm going to be praying for you right now. Any other form of oppression that you're experiencing that has not been mentioned, and you think Amen. you need to be prayed with right now. Neko teka zaka raka tika tala hata are kataba la ba unsi ateka me prokoti takati ate kata la preketi ate kata ba sahatero oja kati kati te asute kata libara ata upa kati kati te ra asho kati kati ezi kati la ba Amen. Oh, 31, 29, Jeremiah 31, 29 to 31. Jeremiah 31, 29 to 31. Jeremiah 31, 29 to 31. Look at what the scripture says. It says, in those days... In those days, they shall say no more. The mm. fathers have eaten a sour grape, mm. and the children's teeth are set on edge. Mm. In other words, the children will be paying for what the fathers did. Say, so mm. shall no more. Mm. Verse 30. Mm. Say, what everyone. Mm. Verse 30. Mm. Verse 30. Mm. But everyone shall die for his own iniquity. Mm. Every man that eateth the sour grape, his teeth shall be set on edge. Mm. Verse 31. 31. He said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel, yes. and the house of joy will flow. Amen. Right now, we're going to be stepping into a new covenant. 
It doesn't matter what has happened in the past. Mm. By the intervention of the Holy Ghost, you have been cut off from your lineage. You have been cut off from the impact of whatever your ancestors did. He said that the blessing of God may come upon the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. And the blessing of Abraham may come upon the Gentiles Now, having accepted Jesus Christ, Entitled to Abrahamic order of blessing, not ancestral order of blessing. No, no, no. He said, It shall no more be said of you that your fathers did eat sour grape and the teeth of the children are set of them. He said, Shall no more be said of you. Now I pray for this ones under the sound of my voice. Anyone experiencing any ancestral cause or generational issue that affected father, affected mother, and is now attempting to stop you. I stop it by the authority in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. I believe the blood of Jesus. I believe the blood of Jesus for you. Every ancestral spirit, every ancestral group that may be tempted to hold back your blessing. At the name of Jesus, like you are sexual spirit, what are you doing? This was a word in the Bible. They have accepted Jesus as the Lord and Savior. Now they can see I command you to go to the Lord. I command that ancestral spirit
God, I will thank you. Wow. Thank, thank you. you. Let's lift up our hands. Let's appreciate God. God is lifting up. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for destroying every negative spirit. Every spirit. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for holding them by the power. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Let me assure you, all prayers are answered. Amen. A new, Amen. new door open for you. Amen. New Amen. Over you, Amen. the glory of Amen. God is sitting over your life. Amen. This hour, you will possess every possession that heaven has for you. Amen. Amen. Upon Mount Zion, where upon Mount Zion, he said there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness, and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Go, Amen. possess your possession. Amen. Go, Amen. Amen. What is more Amen. in verse 18 and 19 of that scripture? He says, The house of Jacob shall be fire, mm -hmm. the house of Esau for a flame, for the house of Joseph for a flame, and the house of Esau for a stubble. And they will thoroughly burn down the house of Esau so that mm -hmm. no one, nothing will remain for the house of Esau. Mm -hmm. The house of Esau is mm -hmm. oppression. Upon this mountain, the fire of God has come down and has zeroed down, Amen. has burnt down every house of Esau in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your Amen. possession will be you. Stretch out your hand and receive your possession right now. I receive it in the name of Jesus. I possess my possession. 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 Wow, there shall be multiple order of testimonies. Amen. Bless you. It's been a wonderful time praying tonight. We give God all the glory for his intervention, for his power, for his presence, for his glory. And very shortly, you shall be testifying. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Every long awaited miracle, the Lord has opened the door. They will come rushing at you. Amen. Amen. you have been put where you have been put down before. Now mm. you're going to be lifted up. Amen. Amen. I will be lifted up. Amen. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. 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 Now, brethren, I just quick announcement. Sunday is our communion Sunday service. I do not miss it for any reason. Invite a friend if you're in town. Join us by all means. Don't miss the service for any reason. My friend in ministry, Pastor David Thomas, is around and he'll be ministering to us. Thank you, Father. Can we please listen to this announcement? In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so Sunday is communion Sunday service. My friend in ministry, Pastor Debo Tomomewo, is still around and is going to be missing to on Sunday. Amen. It's going to be a good time. Don't miss it for any reason. Please, Amen. I beg of you, do not miss that service for any reason. Amen. It's going to be fire and power part, and the glory Amen. of God will rest upon everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God Amen. alone be all the glory. With Jesus' joy tonight, shall we together share the covenant from Psalm 16, verse 11. Let's go. Amen. 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 Amen.
Mama Victoria, God bless you, man. God bless you. Ah, God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you.